So we're here with Aiden. This is Aiden, and she's a little female ferret. And Aiden's mom brought her in because she had actually just rescued her. We really weren't sure how old she is, and we're guessing that she's somewhere between four and six. And she came in because she was kind of lethargic, not eating great. She had lost a bunch of weight. And one of the first things we noticed was that um, her skin was really, really yellow. Um, she was jaundiced, uh, or icteric. And that happens when there's a liver problem. And we also noticed that her urine was really, really bright orange, which wasn't normal. Um, so we felt her belly and we felt that her liver was enlarged and we did some blood tests and we found that her liver enzymes were quite elevated um, and that her liver function wasn't good. Um, and we did an ultrasound and we checked and she has some significant changes going on in her liver. Um, and we're worried, you know, that she probably has cancer in her belly. And unfortunately, cancer is a really, really common thing in ferrets. Um, they're wonderful, but they, they all tend to get cancer yeah, as they age. Um, so we had a discussion, her mother and I, and we decided that, you know, we couldn't really cure her, but that we were going to make her as comfortable as possible. So we put her on some prednisone, which is a steroid, which is one of the first forms of chemotherapy that we use. And ferrets really tolerate it very, very nicely. Um, and they don't have any of the negative effects that we see in, in dogs or cats or even people. People. And in just um, you know uh, over a little over a week, she's gained some weight. She's much more active. You can see that she's you know struggling here to stay still for the camera. Um, and we really just wanted to tell you this because you know we can't cure every animal that we see. Um, but part of what we do here at the veterinary center is to try to make animals feel comfortable, even when they have a terminal disease or something that's incurable. And she's feeling really good, and her quality of life is good. And that's what we're aiming to do here is to make a good quality of life. Um, you know, we have expectations that are limited here, but we know that it makes sense to keep going. Um, her mom and I have discussed the fact that if she doesn't feel well and she's not enjoying her life, we, we will stop. But for right now, she's uh, struggling around and trying to get away from me and looking for food or someone else to play with. So if you notice that your ferret is sick, um, if things don't seem right, please don't wait. Come on in and let us take a look and let us see how we can help you and your ferret.